In the last video, you would have seen steps towards getting comfortable with the skew. They were baby steps, but they were steps nonetheless. I've decided to give a bowl gouge a go next, but not yet. I couldn't resist another go with the skew chisel, just to see if I really have improved or not. But first, if you've been following my progress, you will have seen that I bought my first wood lathe from a man called Bob. You will have seen my shaky first attempts at roughing down a square piece of wood into something that looked a bit like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. You would have watched me as I tried to take on the skew chisel and fail, miserably. But what you might not have seen is the huge amount of support and advice I've received. In particular, I wanted to give a special mention to Monty Cola, JP Woodwork, the Tipsy Turner and Robert Chappell for taking time to give me tips that have really helped. Forgive me if I haven't mentioned your name, there are just too many, but every single comment and message has been read, absorbed, put into practice and really appreciated. Again, thank you. Your support means the world to me, so if you could subscribe to the channel, it would help me reach more people who might also be on this journey. It might also give you a laugh along the way as I fumble with these newly discovered tools of mine. So, if you've done so already, thank you. If not, it would mean a lot to me. Anyway, back to that skew chisel.
Just as I got to grips with the skew chisel and started to make something that resembled beads, I pushed it too far and destroyed it completely. I'm pleased with my progress and I've learned a valuable lesson at how much pressure I can place when turning thin pieces of wood. Hey ho. If you have been, thank you for watching.